What's happening guys, it's Cooper Carter here for G66 and in this week's Fractal Friday, we are checking out the brand new firmware version 5 for the FM3. So firmware version 5 is here for the FM3 and it is chock full of brand new features that have been migrated over from the flagship Axfex 3 unit. Make sure to check out the full release notes which will show you all of the different new features that have been added in this release. But here are a few of the biggest highlights and some of my absolute favorites that have got me really excited about having them in the FM3. First up, we've got the FAS buttery amp type. For a long time, Fractal fans, this is something of a legendary amp type in the unit, in the Axe FX, and now it has made its way to the FM3. The inventor of the Axe FX, Cliff Chase, hand dialed this amp type in by ear. It's a completely custom creation. He was listening to a lot of Matchbox 20 and going for that really ideal 90s rock tone. <laughs> We also get two new drive types with firmware 5, and these pair very nicely with the FAS buttery amp, so I'm going to show you guys those. We get the Valve Screamer VS9, which is based on the legendary TS9 from Ibanez. <laughs> And we've got the Maxoff 808, which is based on, of course, the Maxon OD-808, a very famous clone of the TS-808 that's known for being a bit smoother, a bit less harsh, and it sounds a bit like this. <laughs> Next up, we have a bunch of new types of time-based effects. So in the flanger, the multi-tap delay, and the plex delay blocks, we have a whole bunch of new types that allow you instant access to a ton of really great and exciting and drastically different sounds from these pedal types without having to dive into and tweak or even have to understand some of the advanced parameters that can get you some of these great sounds. You can simply go through these types, and my guess is you're gonna find, if not exactly what you're looking for, something that is very close and requires only a couple tiny adjustments to nail a sound. I actually designed a couple of these for factory presets, and they have now made their way into instantly selectable types in the blocks. So let's check out a couple of flangers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Firmware 5 also brings a new gate type to the table in the gate block, the modern gate, which opens in a linear by DB fashion so that it's perfect for dialing in auto swells. So I've gone ahead and dialed in this modern gate to swell beautifully in response to my playing on my Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass here. You may need to adjust the gate a little bit as far as the threshold to work with your guitar. And I've selected probably my favorite multi-tap delay, the ambient quad tape, to produce a really nice atmospheric sound. So now let's pair another type of multi-tap delay with yet another improvement from Firmware 5, which is the complete overhaul of the compressor block that brings the FM3 in line with the algorithms in the Axfex 3. Again, make sure to check out the release notes for more details on the compressor block and all the other changes, but the most exciting feature here for me is that the pedal, optical, tube, analog, JFET, and dynamic comp types have been completely redone and they now perform automatic makeup gain, which makes dialing in the amount of compression you want so much easier because the level remains constant. So I've got a dynamic comp compressor dialed in for a spanky clean tone, and I've selected the aerosol type multi-tap delay, which brings to mind a ton of hairspray and dials in a beautiful quad type chorus for an 80s clean. Next up, arguably the most consequential update for the FM3 in Firmware 5 for most players, improved CPU performance in the reverb block, which means that you're going to be able to get every bit of reverb goodness out of the amazing algorithms in any preset that you have. I've once again turned on the Dynamic Comp compressor here, and I've added a beautiful Colosseum reverb on ultra high quality, and it sounds absolutely lush. And finally, a couple of great shortcuts on the hardware itself that make editing on the front panel a lot easier, whether that's your first choice for dialing in sounds or your last resort at a gig. You're probably familiar with clicking the edit button repeatedly to scroll through effects to edit them. But now if you double tap the edit button, it will actually go back to the previous block so that you don't have to go all the way around the horn. Next up, double tapping the home button will now enter the layout grid no matter where you are. Double tapping store brings up the save dialog. So double tapping store and then hitting enter will save your preset. And finally, when you're on the home or layout screens, you can now double tap any of the five push knobs below the screen for instant access to various effects. Double tap A to enter the edit menu for amp one. Double tap B for drive one. You can remember it by thinking B for boost, double tap C for cab one, double tap D for delay one, and double tap E for reverb one. So those are just a few of the many, many new improvements to the FM3 that come in firmware version five. In true fractal fashion, this little unit right over here keeps getting better and it keeps getting better for free. 
I really encourage you guys once again to check out the release notes for this and every firmware to get a really interesting look not only behind the scenes into what Fractal is improving each time, but so that you know what you can do on your unit. These units keep improving, they keep changing, they keep giving us more tools for making music and for getting amazing tone. So if you guys have firmware version 5, what's your favorite part about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't upgraded, make sure to go into FM3 Edit, hit FractalBot, and update your unit so that you get all of this new goodness that came in firmware version 5. And if you guys want to dig deeper into your Fractal unit, whether that's the Axefx 3, the FM9, or the FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. Once again, I'm Cooper Carter for G66, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.